<laughs> just rev at people when you get angry. Just rev at them. Yeah. Hell yeah. I will have one though. I just didn't wire it up. What's up, car friends? This is Stu with Wheelie Cool Videos, and today we got part of the 52 family. We got Sang and his ridiculous wide body Cayman with a GT3 front bumper, cage, and all types of crazy stuff going on in here. So thanks so much, man, for letting no me problem. drive this thing. I really appreciate it. This car was just finished a couple days ago. You've only had it for what you say, two, two days? days? Yeah, two and days. And he's already letting me drive it, so <laughs> thanks, bro. I really appreciate it. You drive your baby. Let's go check out the canes in this thing. Let's go destroy it. Short shifter? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot shorter. It's the ball bearing numeric racing one. Oh, god damn. Fuck yeah. Yeah. It lacks power, but it sounds it sounds quick. Yeah, but it, for what it lacks in power, it makes up in lightness, right? I mean, yeah. Have you, you had this thing weighed or corner bounce? No, not yet. I, I was actually going to, but that's, a, that's definitely next on the list. But it's got the weight in the right place. Yeah, yeah, Mid -engine, it's definitely in the center. So. Low center of gravity engine, right? Yeah, and we got rid of the factory toe in the back, so it actually oversteers now. Oh, yeah. Okay, good to know. Once you get it into higher gears, it's like, uh, Dude, I like cars with normal amounts of power that you don't have to be scared to drive. I yeah, really like lightweight, cool. small cars with just normal amounts of power. What, what would you estimate the horsepower is of this? Probably just under 300. Okay. Yeah. Could use a little bit more, but, you know, it's not bad. for the cheapest Cayman. Oh, Holy yeah. shit. Base of the base. Almost zero options. Yeah, I got my heart pumping. Wow, <laughs> dude. So this is a 2009 987 Porsche Cayman. Just regular base, base not an one. S. Yeah, 2.9 liter. But it's the lightest one, right? Definitely the lightest one. <laughs> Did you notice much uh, stiffness, body stiffness? Um, Increase on the cage? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And, and who made this cage? Because it's like a work of art. Yeah, it's uh, made by Jason Noren out in Montclair, California. He's a wizard. He's just like a magician. No. Started with nothing and just was like, hey, I need a couple days and just let me know what kind of design you want. Yeah, because when I initially hit you up, um, the cage wasn't done yet. And then, like, less than a week later, it was done. Yeah. And I was like, damn, that was fast. And this thing is like fully bolted and removable. Yep. yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Jason made things happen. I, I really have to thank him a lot for this because it's probably one of my favorite pieces about the car right now. Right? Even over the wide body? <laughs> so we got to talk about the wide body. All right. All right. So first, so these are 997 cup front flares. Yep. And what do you say the rear flares are? The rears are actually off of the RSR. Wow. Yeah. So what the RSR had were rivets, but instead I wanted to keep one theme and keep the fender smooth. So we riveted them in and we just fiberglassed over them. Oh, that's so dope, man, because it looks so clean with that smooth look. Yeah. And then this that's an OEM GT3 front bumper off of a 991? Yeah, off of a 991. That you guys did wizardry on to make look like it would fit. So what we had to do was we made a mold of my OEM bumper, cut out the headlight portions, Frankenstein that onto the 991, Whoa. and then made another mold out of that. And from there, we just had this one-off, never been done GT3 bumper on an older car. And that bums me out because I, I really was like, how easy would it be to reproduce this car? And the answer is pretty hard because it's got a lot yeah. of custom shit on it. Yeah. It doesn't just have like a GT4 replica front bumper yeah. that you it's, bolted up. I wish it was because right? it would be a lot easier to just <laughs> break things and replace them. But there's a lot of turnaround time on these pieces. So. Yeah.
definitely turning heads though. Yeah. That's for sure. It's got road presence. It does. It's definitely got road presence. So what's up with this huge rear wing? That rear wing is actually off of the 997 RSR. Just straight up pulled off of an RSR that was destroyed. So The top wing part? Yeah, the top wing part. And then are the uprights? Um, the uprights were custom made by PNA Design. Dope. Molded onto a Getty Design rear wing base. And sometimes I actually run it without the wing because it has this cool duck lip look to it. The thing is, all the downforce pieces actually destroy my miles per gallon. <laughs> so, I used to have a V10, and this gets less than that. What? Yeah, this gets about nine miles a gallon. Whoa, because you got like a parachute up there. Yeah, it's 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 a park bench over there, you know. Your V10 M5 got better mileage than this. Yes, that's crazy, bro. Ten. Like almost double, <laughs> almost double. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. And these tires look awesome. I love this tread pattern. What are they? They're the Yokohama ADOR 8s. Um, big thanks to them for helping me out with these. These are probably the best tires I've run so far. And I've thought about buying these tires in the past and I never ended up pulling the trigger. Huh? Don't think, just do. Yeah. Just do. Trust they're, me. Um, they're certainly sticky. Oh, yeah. What's the tread wear? Is it like 200, it's, 180? It's 180, 180, but it actually lasts longer than a 200. Nice. And, and you gotta wrap these wheels properly because these wheels, man, <laughs> these 1552 formulas, which I can't believe they're cast, Yeah. Uh, but they look like a million bucks with this, with the machine finished with a matte clear coat? Yep, machine with the matte clear. And this has got to be the best value for wheels I've ever seen because <laughs> those look fully forged. I thought they were fully forged until we were talking earlier. And, and now you have new suspension on this thing too. Yeah. Yeah, brand new KWs, probably the smoothest riding aggressive coilover system I've ever driven on, and I've driven on a lot. It feels super it's, comfortable. It's like but it's on rails. I mean, they always say that, but it's just, it's smooth. You know, it's not it's, disturbingly, like, spine shaking. Yeah, it's firm without being too stiff, for yeah. sure. Yeah, so it's like a fashion gray wrap? Yeah, it's a fashion gray wrap. It's a Avery Denison wrap done by Fiore Customs. And uh, I just... I don't know. They they did some magic to that too. Yeah, because it's hard to wrap a car with like fender flares and like all oh, this yeah. body work done to it and make yeah. it look good. Yeah, they they filled the gaps perfectly. Like you couldn't tell it was black unless you opened the doors. Which I kind of like. I like the the black that you left. Yeah, uh, it's kind of two tone. The air intake and then um, around the exhaust diffuser. Yeah, the that rear looks diffuser. Really nice. And then we also have the uh, the cutout, the RSR cutouts on the rear bumper. That great down for us. That's that was one of the the crazy things that we did. It we were like, was, just cut the bumper. <laughs> yeah, I was like, dude, the way he made that rear bumper fit, that <laughs> that took some balls to just go ahead and start cutting. Yeah, my uh, my body guy over at Precision Porsche, he Tony. Tony was like, hey, saying, do you really want me to cut the bumper? I was like, <laughs> let's just cut it. We're cutting everything else. He's like, all right, that's your car. Did you have to cut the fenders? We cut everything. We cut the quarter panel, we cut the fenders, cut the rear bumper, the front bumper, everything is cut off on this car. Wow. Dude, I'm digging the power delivery on this thing, man. It's uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. You have so much race car stuff going on here, it like overwhelms the senses and it makes you think you're in a race car. You know, it makes you feel like you're going 30 miles faster than you actually are. <laughs> Uh, no, the sway bars are actually stock. I didn't feel the need to really push them out. If anything, I felt like that would kind of disturb the suspension geometry a little yeah. bit. But like end links are stock and all just upgraded coils. Just the toe links. I okay. had to switch out the toe links to RSS toe links, but that gave me more adjustability to zero them out because you know Porsche doesn't want you doing dumb stuff. I like doing dumb stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised how good this looked for not being the 981 yeah. latest model came in, you know? Yeah. This is the older one, and it's like, it looks fucking good. It's well, awesome, dude. Saying thank you so much for bringing this thing out and letting me drive it, man. I really appreciate it. It was a fucking blast. I love how well balanced it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, have a really cool day. Peace. <laughs> I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket Keep up! So many pretty girls around me and they're waking up the rocket
Keep up Why you mad? Fix your face Ain't my fault they all be jockey Keep up Players only